I am Dr. Bhujang Shetty speaking from Narayana Netralaya. I thought today I'll share with you some bitter truth about sugars. Sugar, though sweet to the tongue, is very, very bitter for our health. We must first realize that refined sugars are just empty calories with absolutely no micronutrients like vitamins and minerals. And we eat way more than the recommended amount of sugars every day. The WHO recommended amount of sugar per day per person is around 6 teaspoons. But unfortunately, we eat around 24 teaspoons of sugar every day. And this amounts to 40 kgs of sugar per person per year. Well, this excess of sugar that we have been eating is the root cause for all the so-called modern metabolic diseases like overweight and obesity. You have seen it everywhere. High blood pressure or hypertension, diabetes, strokes, dementia, blindness from diabetes and Disease like Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's, um, premature aging, migraine and also infertility and erectile dysfunction. The list can go on and on. These are called uh, modern metabolic disease and the root cause is the same excess of carbohydrates, especially sugar. We should also know that some forms of cancers directly or indirectly influenced by sugar intake. I don't know how many of you all know that uh, these cancer cells have a sweet tooth. To grow at the rate that cancer cells grow, they need to have more than 100 to 200 times more glucose than a normal cell. And they can live and survive only on sugars. If we can you know, cut off the sugars from them, definitely they will not be able to grow and spread at the pace that they desire. So if we can cut down the sugars, definitely it will help uh, for people who are having cancers and if it's spreading because we will not be feeding the cancer cells. One other problem what the sugar does is it reduces your immunity. We've all heard about this immunity during COVID times. And we have realized that all those people who got severe COVID, who got admitted to hospital, who went into the ICU, and unfortunately some of them also passed away, all had some form of one of these metabolic diseases. And that metabolic disease automatically reduces your immunity and sugar is the main culprit there. Everybody was talking about increasing the immunity during COVID, but nobody realized that by eating sugar and sweets, we would be reducing our immunity. If we cannot increase our immunity, at least let's not reduce our immunity by eating excess of uh, sweets and sugars. So that's why it is called, sugar is called the root of all evil. It is toxic, it is dangerous, and it is a sweet poison. Unfortunately, in the last 40 years, that is last four decades, our sugar uptake has gone up by 400%. And it is more so in children. I think we are fortunate, this my generation, that when we were very young, we were not exposed to so much of sugar. But today's children, they have sugar for breakfast, sugar for lunch, sugar for dinner, and in between for all the snacks. And we as parents think that they are enjoying it, they are happy, so let them have it. Sometimes we also say, I didn't get it when I was a child. Why Now I can afford, why not I give it to my child? I'm sorry to say that it is absolutely dangerous even for the children. 
and I'll tell you why it is dangerous. Sugar, as I told you, they are empty calories. They make your child fat. They make your child sick. No wonder these days we have children suffering from diabetes, type 2 diabetes. So sugar is like alcohol and tobacco and drugs. It's an addictive substance. So we, by giving this excess of sugar to children, are indirectly making them addictive. It is unfortunate to note that for the first time in human history, the, the younger generation will have a shorter lifespan than our present generation. That is because of the excess of sugar and carbohydrates our children are eating. When I was in school, we had one or two guys who were fat and we used to make fun of him saying that he is a fatty and he has a fatty. But today that joke is not there because every other child is overweight or fat. And I think we as parents are responsible for that. And so what we are seeing now is that all the so-called adult diseases like diabetes and fatty liver are seen in children. This is a very, very unfortunate thing. And we should realize that sugar is not as innocent as it looks. And so what I request parents and elders is that Please don't consider sugars, sweets, bakery products as innocent, especially for children, including ice creams. It's okay, once in a way you give them, but now we keep ice creams and colas and sweets always stored in a fridge. And children, once they become addicted to it, you can't stop them from eating it. So kindly don't store these things at home and don't encourage children to have them. See how, uh, how much of sugar you can cut off from children so that they don't get addicted, they don't get fat, they don't get sick. And no wonder now children are becoming diabetics and you get people getting heart attacks in their 20s and 30s. There's uh, somebody was telling me the other day, uh, maybe 30 years back or three or four decades back, it was the 30 year old son bringing the 60 year old father for heart problems. Today, it, the role has been reversed. It is the 60 year old father bringing the 30 year old son for heart treatment. That's very unfortunate. So what I'm trying to say is that sugar also causes premature aging. So if you want or if you do not want to have pimples and wrinkles, please avoid sugar. If you could cut sugar out of your life, you could get back your health on track. Actually, last generation, we waged a war against tobacco. I think now we need to wage a war against sugars. As I said earlier, sugar is the root cause of all evil. If you are a diabetic, shun sugars. If you are a pre-diabetic, shun sugars. If you have a family history of diabetes, shun sugars. And if you do not want to become a diabetic, shun sugars. Thank you.